biography of my father. Mother's kidneys fail us. After they airlift her to Prince George, he asks me to pack sandwiches in silence. We follow her in his black pickup. We leave lights on in the living room. A surgeon once lost a small mirror inside my father. Gas station apples, black coffee. Every other traveler is tired and suspicious. My father is a casual nudist. He spent 1970 in Stanley Park without teeth. It looked like this rest stop, south of Topley, where crows fling their cause at passing motorhomes. Paperless outhouses, but he's used to that. He tattooed his initials into his own forearm. Center line like a migraine all morning. Paper cups of coffee, radio stations through towns, songs about love, about killing men for less. He bought my mother two taxidermied owls. He bought a set of teeth because he wanted to marry her. A butterfly pinned under the wipers, a moose on the shoulder, 17 out of province license plates since Kitimat. My father takes nothing lightly. He didn't speak until I was 10. His skin drags him low towards earth. Another small town, coffee refill, and some local joint with a waitress named Ruth. My father invented alligators. His country discovered sorrow. Before I was born, he pawned his shadow. He has no more to sell for my mother. The pines are purpled with pine beetle. A porcupine is upturned by a red truck. The sky above Burns Lake looks broken into. Rain batters the water. It's late. My father's hands failed at holding up the day. The sun set, regardless of his efforts. He rents a room for me, but sleeps beside the schema in the back of his truck. As a child, he learned English from an Eden's catalog. Sleeping bag and fishing tackle, he speaks to keep the world in place. Morning comes on like the flu, unapologetic. I hate the way daylight tastes on a road trip. Feet on the dash, asleep on the dash, I have a memory of my father in which he shaved his beard. I have a memory of my father holding a rubber chicken. The night I was born, he won a bowling tournament. I have a memory of my father. He has vaccine scars on both shoulders. Aluminum burns down both arms. Before the paramedics took my mother away, my father kissed her little earlobes. Past Vanderhoof, he drives like a man with a mouthful of blood. His glasses are comically large, his hair is white, and he loves her, silently through construction zones down Highway 16. And I think I have time for one, one more? Yeah. Okay. This is the last poem. It's also about my dad, um, who likes to give me money, but he doesn't like to give it to me straight up. He'll never just hand me money. So he'll give me like a bag of small change, which I'll have to take to the bank on my own. <laughs> or um, the other Christmas, he made me come out to poker with him to show me off to his poker buddies with the intent of um, wanting me some money. And he did, and this is what he said. My father winning me $242 at the Kitimat Golf and Country Club last Christmas. Order anything you like. Tell them it's for John. That's George Chow, general manager of the hospital. See that tell? He's got pocket kings. Dealer's Danny, real bigwig, head honcho of something or other. Your mother doesn't like him much. Call, call. Club soda, ice, no straw. That's Puga, serious, his real name. And that's Ken, Gus's son. We play Gus's memorial tournament every May. Ken's probably the only one at this table who hasn't played his dad. Some nights I get here first and watch the golfers down below. Did I ever tell you about my first job, rounding up golf balls from the lake? This was in Lethbridge. I sold them back to the golfers. All in. I'm just playing for fun tonight because you're in town. It's all right. I've lost my shirt dozens of times. Hundreds. The first time coming to Canada, fleeing Hungary, it was 1956, the revolution. We traveled at night. Some Russians shouted, come out, we won't shoot. So my uncle said, 
John, give me your hand. And I gave him my hand. They won't shoot at kids. Then they started shooting. Though I was only five, I remember the bullets touching my hair, uncle folding behind me. Then your grandma pulled me back into the bushes and we ran. My uncle's blood on my back. No change of shirt till camera. Thank you.